Hello and um, welcome to my next Mario tutorial um, in Scratch. Um, in this part we are going to start doing the Goomba um, movement, well not the movement, <laughs> the collisions with Mario, so like the um, where, where, when Mario jumps on it um, it's going to die and when it hits Mario like on the left and right Mario's going to die. So yeah, um, sorry I haven't been doing a tutorial in ages. Um, <laughs> just been busy with other stuff but yeah anyway um so from the previous part of this you should have like the sensor left and right and sensor bottom because we'll be needing them for this one so if you don't then you you'll probably need to watch my previous Mario tutorial parts so you understand it but yeah we've just got these two okay um so go into scratch and we're going to choose a new sprite from file Okay, and um, you're going to want to get the sensor bottom, and you want to just name that sensor bottom, um, and or <laughs> or bottom. Yeah, so we can just see it easily that this is the bottom sensor, and then we're going to need also uh, the sensor left and right. And just name that horizontal sensor um okay oh hang on <laughs> left sensor and we'll just duplicate this and name this right sensor okay um now you these we've already got scripts in our top sensor and what we have got a slight problem um, when when uh, Mario gets big, when he, if you can see, he sort of goes into the item block. So basically, what we're going to do is in our top sensor, make sure you're on the top sensor, and just get in an if and an else block thingy. And um, you're going to want to get uh, an operator and do if, if uh, super equals zero. So you remember we've got this super variable which is basically if Mario if, it, if Mario is super it's going to be one, if he's not it's going to be zero. So if he's not super then we want it only to be 20 we go up by. Otherwise we want to go up by 30. Now so that basically means if I just um, get rid of that for a second um, you can see look at his top sensor you can see now it's it's at the top of him um, at the moment it's like yeah there and then when he becomes super it's higher up so yeah that's what we've done and let's just get back to that um, set ghost effect set ghost Oops, ghost effect to 100. Okay, and um, yeah, okay, so yeah, that'll just get this ghost effect. Now, in, in, um, we'll just clean that up, and in the bottom sensor, it's going to be exactly the same. We just, oh wait, uh, um, we won't have that at the moment actually, no. Um, okay, just clean that up. Um, and yeah, this is the bottom sensor now. Um, and we're just gonna wanna change these to minus. And now if we just get rid of that. Um, you can see his bottom sensor and um, yeah, when it comes big, that works like that. So yeah. Oh, and we are just need to go and get rid of the uh, transpar, uh, get rid of the white parts. So just get your bucket tool and zoom in, um, and just get rid of those white parts. And you see now there's no white parts. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's the bottom sensor. And now basically what we're going to want to do is in the Goomba, oh, we could do, uh, where is it, bottom sensor, we can basically do, um, 
but we'll just get this. And instead of if touching item one, if if you've got multiple Goombas, then you're gonna have to make a long or thing. But um, since I've only got one, it'll be easier. Um, but you want to do if touching Goomba one, which is this one here, Goomba one. Um, then we want to broadcast a new thing, new message called bo uh, like kill Goomba, kill Goom. Goomba one, kill Goomba one. There we go. <laughs> That's easiest. Um, and then when the um, when the Goomba receives this, um, kill Goomba one. <laughs> um, it's going to um, basically switch to this costume, which you should have. Um, yeah, so it's just gonna. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll actually make a new variable for this and just call it um, alive, basically for this sprite only. And at the start, we're just gonna want to set alive to one because at the start he's gonna be alive. But then when he receives kill kill Goomba one, um, he's just gonna. We're gonna set. Set alive to zero, and then in our costume thing, and also just then, I think we'll just do a little wait time. Let's just make this like this. Um, wait, I don't know, one second, and then we'll just hide it. Um, and basically, um, in here, um, we'll just put if. If um um we'll just put put this in here I think yeah we'll just put it right there and um and we'll say if um alive equals one um then um, you see if, if alive equals one then we'll do our switching costume script else we'll just switch to costume Goomba dead okay uh, now yeah it's just gonna go like that let's try this again where's the Goomba gone oh yep yeah. um, at the start we're gonna need to show it otherwise it's not gonna show basically <laughs> um where is it here we go so yeah and we also need to stop it moving um so again we can just copy and paste this so uh, if alive equals one we'll do all this code this is just for the movement. Yeah, so, um, and then else we'll just, um, well, we we won't change this X, so let's just duplicate this. Put this in here. Now, um, you want to keep all of this um, apart from the move X part. So yeah, get rid of that bit. Um, okay, and yeah, that should be alright. Um, so ah, uh, oh yeah, um, yeah. No, we st no. Sorry, we we still need the change X part. We just don't want to. Uh, oh, not that bit. Sorry. <laughs> um, change new X position by move X. We still want that, but we don't want the change move X by minus one. That, that's good, right? Okay. Let's try that again. There we go. So yeah, that is. That's basically it.
It's not great. I mean, if we become super, we can still do it. It's a slight delay in it, but um, you can't. If y you'll see what the problem is um, if we don't set the ghost effect. Um, you see, as Mary jumps, this sort of has a delay on it. This is why using doing this in programming is a lot easier. Um, I mean, Scratch is great for, you know, if you're just doing it, um, you know, starting off making games, but it's not, it's not that great for making games like Mario, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much, that's probably as good as you're going to get. Um, I think I will leave it there because this tutorial is getting quite long, but in the next tutorial then hopefully we'll, we'll get the the dying of Mario, like if he walks into a Goomba. Um, and also, just get rid of these um, left and right. We'll just get the uh, this thing in here for now. So yeah, um, yeah, like I said, that that's pretty much it um, for this show. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, I should get back to making tutorials regularly soon um but yeah um thank you for watching and i'll see you soon hopefully bye